Wondering why Blender doesn't have an animation library like Maya? You're not alone. While the developers are working on it, I've got a workaround for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the action editor to save and reuse animation just like an animation library. Let's hop in. So to access the action editor, which is what we're gonna be using, is to change this window to the dope sheet. Then we're gonna change it from the dope sheet to the action editor. And right now our current action is this max walk, which if you press play, you can see it's max walking. And for us to make a new action, what you can do is press this X right here, and then you can press new, and now you can make an entirely new action. And when you press play, you can see that there's no action on Max. Max isn't doing anything. There's zero animation because it's a brand new action. What you want to make sure is to name your action properly. Don't make the mistake of giving it some random name because later on when you want to use it, you're going to have trouble because Blender creates a ton of different actions by itself. So you really want to make sure that yours is named differently and it's something that you're 100% going to remember later on. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> so for example, let's just name this angry walk animation i'm gonna press enter and if you want blender to not delete your animation you want to make sure that after you created the action click this little shield this it's called a fake user this saves your data even if the action isn't being used in your animation you'll know that your action is being saved if it has this f right in front of it as you can see here in the list it says f angry walk animation now if we get rid of the shield and then press the X on it and we go back to the list and scroll all the way down, you can see that now it says zero angry walk animation. So pressing the X didn't delete it, but it adds a zero to the beginning, which means that the next time you open up Blender, your action is likely not going to be there anymore because it's not going to be saved. Another way to create and change a file is to, let's go back to our walk animation, the original one. Again, when we press play, you can see the walk animation starts playing. Instead of pressing, you know, X on this and then new, what you can do is click new action by pressing this button with the two papers, which then makes a copy of that previous action. So now we have max 001, but the animation is still there. So we can make changes to this animation and name this differently, max, you know, let's say we make this max happy walk and we make this a more happy walk and we press the shield on it. Now you have two different actions. One is a regular walk and one is a happy walk. So that's just all to get the technicalities out of the way. I just want you to be on the same page as me. Now to transfer actions to your Blender file. Right now, we really only have the camera action, which is just the action on the camera. And we have the max walk action, which is this animation right here. Everything else we just created and it's empty. So to bring in actions, you can go to file, append, and then find the file where you've saved your animations. So that's right here. We're gonna go to actions. And uh, this is again, exactly why you wanna name things properly because Blender has all these different actions for all these different things. But what we want is here we have a looking around and we have a max run. We already have the max walk, so I'm not gonna bring that in. But what you can do is append. And now when you go here, you can see that we have max looking around and max run. But you'll also notice that there's a zero in front of it, which means the next time we open this file, it's not going to be there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it, press the shield, make sure it's saved. Same with the run. Press the shield. And so here you can see that when we're on the max run, we have the run animation uh, playing. And when we go to looking around, you can see that we have an animation just on the face. So if we go from the max walk here to the looking around, you can see that the rest of the body stays the same, but now we have that looking around animation just purely on the face. You can apply any animation to any rig if the rig has the same naming conventions and obviously similar proportions just by clicking on the rig, going to pose mode. You, all you do is just apply that action to the rig. I could bring in May, our other character here, and apply the same action and it'll work with May as well. We also had this when we were working on Maya in the 3. We were able to borrow actions from one character and apply it to another character. Obviously, if the other rig has very different proportions, 
the animation might not work well, but you can still use it as a starting point. Now, if you're familiar with actions, you know that we have a problem. The problem is you can only apply one action to each character. You can't have multiple actions. Unless, of course, you use the NLA editor. Sorry. Use the NLA editor. Use the NLA editor. Oh my. Okay, you know what? Who wants to use the NLA editor? <laughs> What you can do that will also give you a lot of flexibility is you can select all your controllers. I'm going to make sure that I have the graph editor open. So let me open a new window. Graph editor. I'm going to make sure all my channels are selected by pressing A. And here I want to make sure all my keys are selected. What I can do is copy this run animation. And then let's say we go to one of our empty uh, channels here. I can then set a key just so we have uh, a key on every single controller then you can just paste that run animation right into this new layer. And we can even rename this. Let's say run and look around. Press the shield. So now we have this run animation in this new action that we created. So we could have animations before this, we could have animations after this, and then we can just control V paste a run animation before or after. So let's do another action from scratch. What I'm gonna do is Press X on this one, create a new action, and call this walk to run. Now again, what I can do is go to max walk, make sure all the controllers are selected, all the channels, all the keys here, and then I'm gonna copy paste this and bring it into this new action that I made. This is where I have my main animation, for example. And then I, I gotta make sure there's a key so that it, the, the keys know that the information knows where to go. Control V, that's it. Now we have our walk in this new action. Now if we want to do a walk to run, we can then, you know, let's say, let's give it a little bit of space because we have to uh, animate the in-between afterwards. Now let's go to the run animation. That's the walk. Let's go to the max run animation. Same thing, make sure all the keys are selected. Just pressing A everywhere. Copy, go to our walk to run right here and then paste those keys here. So now we have something like this. Again, obviously it's not perfect. We have to animate the in-between here, but just with a few clicks and just like an animation library, you can have all your animations stored in one file and then bring them in as actions one by one and copy paste them wherever you need as you please. The animation layers add-on. Now, if you have the animation layers add-on, you can also use that instead so you can layer different actions on top of one another instead of being limited to having one finish and then having another one start this is a paid add-on but it's super super handy and to plug into anime a little bit all of our students get a discount when purchasing this add-on if you're thinking of taking animation skills to the next level and really learn blender's animation tools inside out consider taking our ultimate animation course and on top of getting access to all of our rigs and all of our lessons you also get discounts on some really good add-ons as well all right so to use the animation layers i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the animation layers then i'll press the plus button and let's just say let's just delete this top layer. So now we have this walk cycle as our base. Now, if we want to add a brand new action, we can go ahead and press the plus button. We see that we have a new animation layer. Let's go ahead and name this look around. And what you can do is in layer settings down here, you can go ahead and change the action to some other action that you've appended into the file. So in this case, we're going to do look around. You can see that it's giving us some weird results. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the blend mode to replace. So we want this look around animation to replace the bottom layer, our walk cycle. And since look around only has animation on the face, the rest of the body isn't going to get affected. So here when we press play, you can see we have our walk and then we have Max looking around, which is amazing to see. And then the walk continues because it's cyclic and then repeats and then the Look around animation plays on top of the walk cycle with just a couple of clicks. Another thing you can do with layers is affect their influence. So here we have this look starting off right away, but if you want to still have some of that head bop in the walk cycle, in the beginning of the look animation, we can set the influence to let's say zero. So if it's at zero, we just see the walk cycle and let's say 
over eh, 10 or so frames, we have the influence go to one. And so now you can see we have some of the head bob and it takes a little bit longer for that look around animation to kind of kick in. It kicks in more slowly. It's a little bit more smoother. Alternatively, you could use the NLA editor. <laughs> And the NLA editor is basically the same thing as the animation layers and it's built into Blender for free. It shows you the actions as kind of these layers on a track, hence NLA editor, but it's super confusing and not intuitive to work with. So I don't recommend it if you're not already familiar with it. The NLA will eventually actually be replaced by a built-in animation layers system in the future. This is something Blender is working on. So <laughs> you might as well wait for that. And in the meantime, maybe get the animation layers add-on. Now creating your own animation library in Blender, it's great, it's fantastic. But first you have to make sure that your animations look good. So make sure to watch this video and not make these seven animation mistakes.